All right, everybody, for this topic, we're going to create a bar chart. A bar chart compares categories of data by representing each category with a bar. Here's an example that I thought of. You know the food pyramid? We'll create a bar chart to represent daily consumption of categories of foods. Here are the different categories. This will be a Python list. Categories equals, we'll create a Python list. The first element within this list will be grains such as bread, then fruit, vegetables, protein, dairy, and sweets. We'll create another Python list of values. For each of these categories, what value should each of them have? Let's pretend that these values are for daily servings. How many in each category did I consume today? We'll make up some numbers. For grains, this will be four. Fruit, three. Vegetables, I don't eat very many vegetables, so that will be two. Lots of protein, that's five. Dairy, three. And sweets, one. But feel free to make up your own numbers. Now, although it's not necessary, I'm going to convert these Python lists to be NumPy arrays. All right, we are ready to make a bar chart. Categories will be on the x-axis, values will be on the y-axis. Rather than using a plot such as plt, called the plot function, we're instead going to use bar to make a bar chart. First, pass in what's going to be used for the x-axis, categories, comma, then the y-axis of values. And then you do have to show your bar chart. plt, call the show function. And let's see what we have. Here we go. A bar chart compares categories of data by representing each category with a bar. Here are the categories that we've stated. Grains, fruit, vegetables, protein, dairy, sweets. And here are the values on the left-hand side for each. Let's add a title and two labels to our bar chart. PLT, called the title function. Then pass in a title as a string. We'll say daily consumption. Let's make sure that works. Yes, it does. We'll add a label to the x axis. PLT, x label. We'll say the word food. Yep, it says food. And you can change the size if you want for these labels, but that might be overkill for this lesson. We've already covered that in the previous topic. PLT, call the Y label function. We'll pass in a string that says quantity. And it should say that on the left hand side. Now let's change the color of our bar chart. When we call the bar function, we can set the color to be a color of your choice. You can pick a color name, you can use hexadecimal values, I'll just say sky blue. And the bar colors should change. Now, if you would like a horizontal bar chart, I'll comment this line of code out, copy it, paste it. You're going to instead call the bar h function for a horizontal bar chart, which looks a little something like this. But honestly, for me, I prefer the vertical bar chart. All right, everybody. So that is how to create a basic bar chart using matplotlib. 